got a blue day, blue sky. Temperature was like 75 driving up here in the car. So we'll see. See what the Garmin says. Garmin says it's a whole lot hotter. 88 right now. Very muggy, hot, humid day. You can see the haze in the sky as we look out over the valley. This is a new trail down the hill. The old one was uh, too rutted out and I fell on it a couple times trying to get down it and I just don't want to do that again. This is very steep, um, kind of loose. Uh, you can hear Jeff is already down blasting around. not fun. So we're going to go out to the east, go up towards the dump. Uh, there's a big climb out. Moderately rocky, kind of steep. Oh yeah, and it's also off camera. Here we are crossing Burma Road going south. They've installed a whole bunch of new rocks, I guess, to keep us from uh, going from the north side of the road to the south side. This is all FRO land. Wow, looks like they're doing a little bit of trail maintenance. I didn't see any evidence of the bulldozer's use, but there it was. Typical FRO rocks. Well, we should be coming up on Mikey's broken back mud puddle, which I think is here. It could be this one. They all look alike. We're riding with a lot of guys. I'm not sure I even know who all of them are. Uh, Jeff just sort of lassoed into our group when he was at the trailhead. Uh, 
all of these guys are taking this fairly steep climb up onto the right. Uh, I don't know where that goes. I've never been on it. But I'm not going to take it. I'm going to go the usual way. This hill is pretty straightforward, but it is rocky. And go faster. Gonna try to come up the steep one. Crossing that big shale area again. short climb to get up to the top of the ridge here and then it's you know a rocky downhill till we get to the trail we're looking for and some overgrown trees uh, making it hard to see where you're going just so much fun bit of a tricky rocky uphill at the end of the street starting as soon as it gets shady the temperature gauge on the garment says it's only 77, uh, which is more than 10 degrees cooler than it was when we first started out, but it doesn't feel any cooler. It does feel a little better at speed on the highway there, but uh, that's just a short transit section. like the overgrown. You can't see where I'm going. You can't see where the rocks are that I'm running over. So, uh, we have a smaller groove. I may get out my clippers and see if I can back some of that away.
This little trail section, uh, it's a little trickier than it looks just because it's, it's pretty steep and fairly loose and a lot of rock, um, rock, moderate number of rocks and a lot of tree roots. But take it slow, it's easy. This power line trail is is also steep and rocky, but that's sort of the motto of FRO. I tend to forget to breathe when I'm going down those uh, steep and tricky little trails. Here's the Meadows Cycle Overlook. It's a traditional stopping point. See out over the valley. This is the famous East-West Highway, the main trail that goes east to west, or in our case, west to east. Just stay to the left by those big rocks and you'll be fine. Somehow I'm leading from the back here. Now we're heading toward Rich's secret single trail, which was getting pretty grown, overgrown last time we came through here, so let's see if we actually can get here. We've got Jeff leading, so uh, the proper name for this is a little foreshadowing is Jeff leads us all astray. I'm not convinced that this is really the trail, but that's where we're going anyway. That was a down tree. We 
because we're going so slow, I'm getting pretty hot. Um, there's no wind to carry it off. So I stop and at least unzipper my, uh, my jacket as we climb over another tree. Each of these little stops uh, adds a little bit of extra stress. If it was cooler, this would not would be a fairly decent trail, but uh, it's a very hot, muggy day. Well, this is looking more like a real trail. And here I'm breathing pretty heavily in the uh, GoPro microphone. This trail doesn't look like I expect it to. So it's probably not Rich's secret trail. It's probably some other single track back here. I didn't know where I was till we hit that puddle in the berm, and this is an old trail that we used to do a lot, goes down to the lunch spot. Um, it's got a fairly steep, nasty hill, um, but the more important thing is that the, I'm just too hot. Uh, I've got to get some speed up so I can cool down a little bit, but this is not the place to speed up. This is pretty rocky, moderately steep. Yeah, this is the steep part I remember. I 
I'm done. I'm going home. Luckily, we uh, this trail ends and we quickly drop out onto a county road and uh, a little bit of a berm to hit. But, uh, I think this might even be Old Eagle Hill Road. I'm going to go up and stop in the shade and uh, tell Jeff and the crew that I'm going to head back to the trailhead. Yep, this is Eagle Hill Road. Um, it's an official county road, although I'm not sure that a car could make it up it. It's pretty washed out and rocky. And this is Nothing Hill. Since I'm a little tired, uh, I probably don't do a good job on this. Let's see. Huh? No? I mostly stayed up on the uh, off-camera part. Now we just have a few climbs, a whole bunch of mud puddles, and uh, we'll get most of the way back to the trailhead, which is dead ahead, up in that valley. Official parking lot.